Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here. Just uh, another short video here. Uh, the shrine vanity here is coming along nicely. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with the progress today. Everything on this is cut and fit. Sadly, there's no, you know, I'm kind of coming up with it as I go along here uh, from my rough sketch. So it's taking a little longer than I would like, but I don't care. It's looking good. Uh, it's going to be sitting up against a wall on this side, so I'm not dicking with finishing it. Um, but yeah, so down there, and then up here, I'll uh, use the CNC tomorrow and cut out, not quite that, but you know, cut out some arched pieces to go in there and on the front here, and then some of that stuff, I don't know what you call it. That looks kind of like, where is it? Um, oh yeah, no, wait. <laughs> I'm really an organized builder, if you uh, can't tell. Oh, right there, some of this stuff here. I'll probably use the uh, CNC to cut that out tomorrow. And yeah, so using up some of this uh, scr or crappy C3 plywood on this, just trying to get it the hell out of the shop. I don't want to use it anymore. Um, it's junk, but for something like this where it's going to be painted, I don't care. Um, it's going to be finished black and red, uh, or, you know, sort of a distressed finish with a more orangey kind of red than I did on the uh, picture frame if you go back and look at my other videos. So, yeah, it's coming along nicely. I'm really pleased. Yeah, this is just a fake uh, raised panel here. I just took some half-inch thick poplar and Pinned it on. I gotta say, that if you have not had a chance to play with one of these, this Grex pinner is amazing for doing paint work or paint grade work like this. Because right there, that's one of the pins uh, with um, you know a couple of coats of milk paint on it. The pins are gone. You don't have to dick with filling them. Um, so yeah, it works really well. Um, I need to make some doors and then the other trim that goes in here and up here, and I think it's gonna be about ready to go. So. The camera won't focus, of course. Yeah, anyway, so I'm packing it in for the night. It's like 6 or 7 o'clock, so I'm going home, but uh, I'm pleased with the way this is turning out. Um, I think it's going to look cool once I get the doors on it. And the door, or the um, doors will have a, whatchamacallit, have a runner on it that matches up with those bottom ones there, you know, right in there. And yeah, stay tuned. I will do a video. Actually, I'll just do it whenever I do the doors for this one on um, cutting out or not cutting out. Um, yeah, where's my, I have a piece over here that I use for, it's a go, no gauge for setting this up. And of course, oh, there it is. It was hiding under the, uh, yes, I have bad, good. Um, yeah, for your 35 millimeter hole. Uh, I will do a video on how to do that. Um, it's pretty simple uh, to put in hinges like this. Um, I really like Blom hinges. Um, yeah, they're cheap. They are really, really nice, and I just like them. So I need to order some more. Anyway, yes, I'm rambling. I'm Darlington Farm. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And just let me know if there's anything else here uh, that uh, you would like to see. Uh, I've been trying to take some video on this as I go along here, so just give me a while, get it you know, put together and edited, but here's a quickie for you. So anyway, thank you for watching.